The federal government is set to shut the third mainland bridge for six months starting Friday, July 24. This was confirmed by the Federal Controller of Works in Lagos, Olukayode Opola. According to him, consultations are ongoing for another phase of repair works to begin on the 11.8 kilometer bridge. Popola explained that the work will commence on the outward mainland section of the bridge and the ministry is working with relevant agencies to perfect traffic during the period. The bridge has gone through a series of repair works and was last shot in August 2018 for a three-day investigative maintenance check. Joining us to take a look at this government decision is public affairs analyst Jide Benson. A pleasure to have you uh, on the news. Uh, quickly, uh, let's look at the decision by the federal government to shut the third mainland bridge for repairs. Um, it's generating a lot of um, mixed reaction. What is your reaction? Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for having me. Um, it's a good it's a good decision that the federal government has decided to do one of um, it's one of to play one of its roles i mean which is the um, repair of the um, infrastructure however i worry about the timing and the notice that has been given to the questions and other people who use that um, road um, the final details of that um, band closure it would be nice to know would it be closed totally? Would it be partial closure? And what time of the day would it be closed? Because I think that um, Lagosians are already groaning under heavy traffic. So uh, it would be nice to know what the final details are. Um, it, will this information um, be presented before uh, that uh, Friday date, do you think? And um, what are some of the challenges you see with proper traffic management, especially in the light of um, what we have now, the rains and the flood and all of that? Ideally, that information should have come alongside the notice that the bridge will be closed. And it should be an ongoing effort until when the bridge is actually closed. Because um, already a cool bridge is closed. In the spirit of COVID-19 palliatives, I think that it would have been appropriate for a cool bridge to have gotten some palliative. Um, just before the country was locked down, um, a cool bridge was locked from, Alak from the Alaka entry point. And I think that that afforded the government an opportunity to have um, attended to whatever problem was on a cold bridge. And now the plan to close um, Third Mainland Bridge is already creating a lot of um, apprehension on the part of the Goshans. Um, the Goshans might have to suffer what commuting fatigue. You may be aware that the Bagada Expressway is being walked on. Um, a cold bridge is closed. So a lot of people have to use the Korodu Road to get through to Alaka and then to Kostin. Kostin appears also to be a stillbirth. The two flyovers, the only one is walking. They're, they're, they're walking on the bridge because of the train that's going to pass under it. So there's already a lot of tension on the road. There's a lot of, already a lot of pressure on the road. It would have been nice if the federal government could walk on the Eco Bridge first before the decision to close the third mainland bridge. Yeah, the, the timing, people are saying the timing, uh, there is a problem with it because of the rains and like you rightly identified, um, the access roads, some uh, maintenance work or re um, refurbishing is going on. Um, what would have been a better time to take on this huge um, task or is it that they're running out of time as it were? July 24 could have been a good time if Eco Bridge had been fixed. Now, since Eco Bridge hasn't been fixed, it would be a nice idea to have Eco Bridge fixed first because there are three bridges that connect the island to the mainland the Carter Bridge, the Third Mainland Bridge, and then Eco Bridge. So, if you have closed one and you're about to close the second, I are asking every other player, everybody, every commuter who is going from the island to the mainland or vice versa to use Carter Bridge. And you and I know the story of Carter Bridge. That's right in the center of the market, somewhere around the Dumota. So the timing is wrong, the purpose is right. So it will be, and I don't think that the problem with Eco Bridge is anything near the problem with the um, third mainland bridge. So a nice idea or a good idea or the better option would be to fix Eco Bridge before you close the mainland bridge. 
I mean, I think that project management skills should be deployed in this. Timing and communication, they're very important, and I think those are missing in this decision. Okay, like it or not, the government has given a date that the um, bridge will be closed. What advice would you give to motorists to help manage the situation that it's likely to arise, traffic-wise? Well, maybe my advice to motorists, if the federal government does decide to go ahead as planned on July 24, which I think is not right, I think they can extend this by another 30 days and use the intervening period to fix the full bridge first. But they do decide to go ahead, I mean, I'll piggyback on the advice that has been given to a lot of motorists, particularly in this COVID times. Go out only where you need to go out. Uh, people should explore the option of car pulling. You don't have to put your car on the road. You can drive with your neighbor or your friend or your colleague or whatever you. Or plan your travel time very well. A lot of people can start to use Google Map more, more often because these are what these are already perilous times. It would mean that there will be less social distancing on the road. Even our cars at this point may begin to need social distancing. So if you don't need to put your car on the road, do not put it. Having said that, I think July 24, for the closure of that bridge, may be a bad time because the full bridge needs to be fixed first. Like, as I said, the problem on the cool bridge is not that much. I think it's just one expansion point. Yes, they may need to fix other portions of the road, but the major problem that led to the closure of the cool bridge is one expansion point at the point where you, once you drive past the place that, that divides the upper parts, those going towards the Congo. And on the inward side towards Alaka as well, um, there, there's beginning to be signs that some partial chance are giving way. All right, uh, Mr. Jide Benson, thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts on the closure of the Third Melon Bridge. Thank you very much.